I want to make sure and introduce a new property diagram called a pressure enthalpy diagram. So it's a P pressure enthalpy pH diagram. It's extremely uh, popular and extremely common, okay? Especially in refrigeration. Why? Because there's a high pressure side and a low pressure side to these systems, and that's the way that people talk. It's the high pressure side and low pressure side. So the expansion valve, pressure drop, compressor, pressure gain. So the condenser is essentially at the same pressure as, as well as the evaporator. So let's go ahead and sketch it and remind ourselves using this numbering notation that saturated vapor at state one at low pressure goes into the compressor. So on a temperature entropy diagram, you have a line of low pressure. Go ahead and sketch it and a line of high pressure. You can go ahead and sketch it like that. Okay, so this is pressure high and pressure low. And state one would be right here, saturated vapor. Now, the pH diagram, you have a high pressure, P high, and a low pressure, P low. Maybe I should have put those a little closer together. Let me try that pressure high and pressure low. And the high pressure and low pressure is significantly above this point right up here. What is that point at the top of the dome? The critical point, critical point. Now on a pH diagram, it's a little funny, but the critical point is shifted. It's, it's not symmetrical, okay? So uh, it's kind of interesting, but at some point, as you get closer to the critical point, the enthalpy of saturated vapor decreases. Put that point, the critical point, shifted a little bit to the right. But that's, if we stay below that, our line of constant high pressure is just a flat line, so it's a lot easier to deal with than a line of constant low pressure is a flat line, right like that. So that's a pressure enthalpy diagram. So now, this is state one for, uh, on the pressure enthalpy diagram. Go through the compressor, and let's go ahead and draw construct do the 2S and then the 2 actual. So there's some isentropic efficiency for that compressor. On a temperature entropy diagram, it's straight up to 2S. And if there are some irreversibilities, it goes to 2 actual. But we assume it goes to the same high pressure pH line. How about here? Well, a line of constant S is shaped like this. How do you know that? Well, it's going to go out into the superheated region. On other charts, they will actually show you lines of constant S, but that's what it looks like. And if you have increased S because of irreversibilities, there's two. So two S and two achieving the same pressure. If you go through the condenser, you're going to come out with saturated liquid at state three. So let me kind of sketch that process. You go along this line, temperature's dropping until you hit saturated vapor. Then you start condensing and condensing until you get to the state of saturated liquid. So that's state three. So when it comes into this condenser, it's piping hot. And when it comes out, it's lower temperature and has condensed. Has the pressure changed from two to three? The pressure has not changed. In the real system, there will be some pressure drop anytime you have flow in a pipe or flow through tubes, true? But here we're neglecting that. So what's it look like on the pressure enthalpy diagram? It's just cooling of superheated vapor until you get the saturated vapor, and then it's condensing, condensing, condensing until you get all the way to the state three. Okay. How about going across that expansion valve? We noted that it was highly irreversible, but what, what is constant across that expansion valve? Do a first law. It's isenthalpic. It's constant enthalpy. And so uh, it's highly irreversible, never draw a straight line, and it goes down to state four. But on a pressure enthalpy diagram, because it's isenthalpic, it's a lot easier, right? There's no guessing where it is. It's straight below. Still put a dashed line down to state four. 
Okay. Notice that both diagrams have state 4 in the two-phase region. And so the quality will be something like 20, 25, 30, 35%, somewhere in there, depending on how high the pressure difference is between pH and PFPL. The greater the pressure difference, the higher the quality. Okay. So this is what it looks like uh, on the, on the, on the uh, property diagram known as the pressure enthalpy diagram. Um, what is this temperature right here? That's the temp saturation temperature corresponding to the pressure. So PL and TL are related. So TL is T sat for that low pressure. And TH, as shown here, TH is the saturation temperature for given high pressure. 